we want to verify the function y of x equals x cubed minus c divided by x, where c is a constant, is a solution of the differential equation two x y prime plus two y equals eight x cubed. So we know y, so now we'll find y prime, then perform substitution into the differential equation and verify the left side equals eight x cubed, or the right side. Let's begin by changing the form of y of x. Let's write y of x as y of x equals x cubed. And for c divided by x to the first, we'll move x to the first up to the numerator, which will change the sign of the exponent. So we can write the second term as minus c x to the power of negative one, and therefore y prime, or dy dx, is equal to three x squared. Here we'll multiply by negative one and then subtract one from the exponent. So we'll have plus c times x to the power of negative two. And then I'll make a substitution for y and for y prime. So for two x y prime, we'd have two x times three x squared plus c x to the power of negative two, and then for plus two y, we'd have plus two times x to the third minus c x to the power of negative one. We want to verify this is equal to eight x cubed. So now we'll distribute, combine like terms, and see if this left side does equal eight x cubed. So we have six x cubed, now for this next product, again this is x to the first, so we'll add the exponents on x. So we'll have plus two c, x to the power of negative one. And then we have plus two x cubed, and then minus two c x to the negative one. So looking at this left side, notice how we have two like terms and they're opposites, two c x to the negative one minus two c x to the negative one would be zero, leaving us with eight x cubed equals eight x cubed, verifying that y of x is the solution to the differential equation. And now for part b, we want to find the value of c, this constant here, for which the solution satisfies the initial condition y of two equals six. So if we know y of x equals x to the third minus c divided by x is a solution, and this is our initial condition, we can find c by substituting two for x and six for our function value. So again, if y of two equals six, then six must equal two cubed minus c divided by two. So six must equal eight minus c divided by two. If we subtract eight on both sides, that would give us negative two equals negative c divided by two. So if negative c divided by two equals negative two, we can solve for c by multiplying both sides by negative two. If we want on this side, negative two over one. So the twos simplify out, so we have negative c times negative one, so we have c equals negative two times negative two is positive four. So this question is only asking us for c, so this is our answer. But it also tells us that particular solution, y of x would be y of x equals x to the third minus four divided by x. Let's finish by looking at this graphically. If we graph this differential equation, it would give us this red slope field, a red direction field, and if y of two equals six, we're looking for the particular solution that passes through this point here, and notice how y of x equals x to the third minus four divided by x does satisfy the initial condition and also fits nicely in our direction field, meaning the small segments would represent the slopes of the tangent lines to our function 
at various values of x. I hope you found this helpful.